Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to this uh, Segal GeoCloud webinar. My name is uh, Paul Hovdenak. And this is me. Uh, I'm working in the uh, Segal portfolio team with a um, particular responsibility for our partner programs. I'm a geologist by background, and I'll give you some GeoCloud perspectives uh, from uh, an end user point of view in this webinar. Uh, I hope to keep your attention for the next 30 minutes and I will cover a, a short Segal introduction, uh, talk a little bit about uh, what GeoCloud actually is, and then focus on applications we host uh, in GeoCloud uh, and uh, go through a little bit of uh, application management services we, we provide to our, our customers. Finally, I'll uh, talk a little bit about the uh, future directions for uh, for the GeoCloud uh, solution. Uh, so, 30 minutes is what I expect it will take. Uh, and uh, we'll kick off then with a little bit of um, Segal information. First of all, this uh, webinar is part of a series of webinars we have introduced to be able to reach out to the market uh, in these um, times, these restricted times with the corona-related lockdowns we see around the globe. And uh, working remotely has really become a key aspect. Uh, uh, and our GeoCloud solution is uh, proving to be uh, performing outstandingly and is a flexible tool, uh, allowing for uh, people to work from home and for, from really wherever, wherever you, you are. Uh, in this uh, slide you see here, there's a key topics uh, listing and I'd like to emphasize on the last bullet which is um, uh, having secure access to all your critical soft application from uh, from anywhere um, I'll move on to um, talk a little bit about uh, our cigar story uh, going back to 2000 when it was established as a more general cloud uh, provider ASP uh, it's been a journey of the last 20 years uh, to become a company specializing in, in cloud and software solutions for the oil industry. Uh, also, business-wise, we've grown to around $100 million uh, of revenue. Uh, and we've been through some key uh, milestones uh, where I'd like to, to mention these acquisitions uh, you might see from this slide. Uh, in 2014, uh, Blueback Reservoir became part of the Segal team, uh, particularly to strengthen the, um, the geoscience expertise and uh, also the global footprint. Uh, in 15, uh, Escape uh, was acquired, uh, which is a Aberdeen-based um, IT company, very important for our presence in the UK. And in 18, uh, Avito Consulting was added to the, to the team. Uh, providing uh, business consulting services uh, at a strategic level for uh, oil companies. Uh, Segal, we um, we do have uh, some offices around the globe. Um, in fact, we are nine offices. Uh, as you see from this slide, it's the orange uh, text uh, representing the offices. Uh, the largest uh, by far is in Stavanger in Norway. This is also where we have the GeoCloud uh, Center of Excellence. Um, the last uh, addition to the office uh, list here is the one we opened in Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia, which was in April uh, of last year. In total, we are um, around 450 people uh, with a, a good mix of uh, IT and oil industry competence. Uh, particular on the uh, uh, geology, geophysics uh, coming in from the um, uh, Blueback Reservoir acquisition. This slide shows an overall positioning of our products and services. The gray boxes uh, you see uh, represent uh, our main business lines. Uh, and uh, the one to the left saying GeoCloud representing our cloud solutions uh, being the major business line. Um, of course, it's supported by the, uh, the two others, the, the software products. Uh, we do develop uh, software products uh, ourselves. Uh, also, the uh, consultancy uh, box uh, represents a, 
uh, uh, various kinds of uh, services. Uh, as you can see, it's from uh, geoscience to software development services. IT consulting, uh, also, as mentioned, this business consulting uh, type services. Uh, so it's a, it's a broad uh, and rich uh, offering uh, on the consultancy side. Uh, with the cloud portal, as you see in the middle of the slide, uh, uh, we have a, an excellent interface to the IT environment we provide, uh, including then access to applications and uh, also the, the data flow required. So um, coming back then to uh, today's topic, um, from the abstract on the invite for, these, for this webinar, um, you can see that the, uh, the focus will be on uh, the software applications we host for our customers and how we, we help them optimize um, performance and usage. I think a, a key takeaway point from this uh, talk will be the fact that we in Segal, we are we are um, a vendor neutral uh, position. Uh, all software applications and vendors uh, will have equal focus uh, for us uh, to ensure that the, uh, the right performance uh, and uh, data flow is, uh, is achieved. Uh, this kind of rolls over to this uh, vision slide you see now. Uh, and um, first of all, our mission is to continue providing and improving our high performance, scalable and independent cloud solutions, GeoCloud. This is something we, uh, we achieve through um, working closely with our partners and uh, ensuring all the one time that we stay agnostic and independent uh, so that all vendors, all applications will achieve high performance. Uh, uh, also including then workflows where there are several uh, vendor applications uh, involved, which I'll come back to a bit later in this uh, webinar. So our vision then is to uh, ensure that GeoCloud becomes the, the go-to solution for the oil industry uh, and to optimize, of course, cost and uh, delivering uh, performance uh, IT environment. Right, so what is uh, GeoCloud? I guess uh, you guys listening in uh, will have various uh, backgrounds. Uh, so I think, um, first of all, I'd like to just describe it as a, as a, as a petrotechnical desktop as a service. Uh, so in more technical terms, uh, it's really a, a virtual desktop interface, a VDI, where the hardware is in a different location. It's not magic, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, and the hardware resides in a data center. And um, depending on uh, customer requirements, it can be dedicated or shared. Uh, of course, there's a cost and contractual obligations uh, linked into this. Currently, the data centers um, we use today will be a mix of the uh, Segal uh, operated data centers, particularly in Norway and uh, also data centers where we have secured uh, capacity uh, to serve uh, customers in a, in a specific location. Um, recently, we, um, we also uh, started using uh, Microsoft the data centers uh, and Azure, uh, which I will come a bit back to later in this webinar. Um, at Segal, we have a, a strong competence within IT and IT operations, and uh, we built uh, very effective systems and processes for handling uh, uh, customer tickets and changes uh, that come in every day from uh, our customers. Uh, we utilize existing technologies for providing the required performance for the uh, IT environment, and I'd like to highlight in particular the um, fact that we have become experts on uh, applications um, requiring uh, the, the heavy 3D graphics uh, you see in many workflows and also heavy computer operations. Yeah, I've covered a little bit this uh, corona situation with the lockdowns. Uh, so I'm sure most of you have uh, experience or are still experiencing. Uh, I think um, from what we have learned ourselves in Segal, where we've um, 
we've been in lockdown for several weeks uh, and going forward uh, i think we will see a change uh, a general change in the uh, in in the industry and uh, generally i think uh, that there will be a, re a requirement for increased flexibility on on where we work from uh, in fact in norway uh, we already uh, see that uh, companies uh, allow employees to choose where they where they work from of course given that uh, you achieve your goals uh, and so on but uh, there's a increased flexibility this is uh, i think a, a trend we'll see much more of uh, going forward so for for us uh, with our geocloud solution uh, we, we think we are um, uh, really well positioned to be able to deliver this to uh, to the uh, to the oil industry, particularly this thing with the uh, easy uh, single sign-on and uh, access to your own personalized uh, IT environment, uh, which um, uh, I'll I'll talk a bit about uh, on in this slides. Um, so as an end user, you you would log on as normal. Uh, with uh, having a predefined configuration depending on uh, your requirements for uh, your hardware performance, your privileges, uh, access to this and that. Uh, so when a customer is deploying our GeoCloud solution, we, we always uh, go through a, a process to uh, build a, a tiering model. That means that uh, every type user, as indicated on the slide, We'll have different requirements and uh, we need to over a bit of time measure the uh, uh, the use of um, or, uh, of the uh, required uh, compute power uh, so we produce a uh, typically a, a report uh, where we measure over a couple of months uh, this is to control of course cost uh, and also access to um, applications and, and data This slide is really to uh, highlight that our global service desk is uh, receiving some excellent uh, feedback. Uh, it's 24/7, and uh, we have um, we support operations uh, in uh, most time zones. As you see from this map, and it would be uh, from trivial IT-related uh, questions and uh, requirements to uh, supporting uh, more. Uh, let's say uh, heavy applications, uh, specific applications. Uh, so GeoCloud uh, is in use and, uh, and deployed with uh, around 30 oil companies. Uh, uh, and I'd say most will be in Europe uh, at, at the moment. Uh, and uh, it's for hosting the data and applications and uh, our um, particular focus on exploration and GOG workflows has many times been the uh, the entry point for uh, uh, our customers to to choose the solution um, we have several published case studies uh, and this example you see here on this slide is from a company called uh, Pigmig oil company with uh, two offices in Norway one in Stavanger that's to the bottom and one in Tromsø way up north um, they deployed the GeoCloud and uh, have achieved some tangible business benefits. As you see stated on this slide, it's a bit busy, but uh, on the business benefits, you, you see a bit of a, a listing. And uh, if, you, uh, if you're interested to hear more about our case studies, uh, please get in touch. Uh, this is a relatively small setup uh, from a GeoCloud point of view. We, we have uh, uh, many more case studies with a, a more complex uh, structure right so now i'm moving onwards to talk a bit about the applications uh, <clears throat> we host in uh, geocloud um, overall there's about 2000 software applications we host today and this though includes uh, lots of uh, back office uh, applications and uh, you'll be surprised to uh, to hear and see how many applications uh, an oil company has installed from small widgets to critical uh, mission critical applications uh, we see that around 300 uh, are um, applications within exploration uh, production workflows of those i'd say that 
maybe 30 to 50 uh, are particularly important, uh, covering important workflows. Uh, many times we, we see that Petrel is, uh, is a benchmark application, so particular for performance requirements. So think about 3D graphics, etc. But there are, um, as I said, 300 applications uh, within the uh, exploration and GNG uh, workflows. Um, this overview here is not complete, by the way, but it shows you a, a very rich uh, map of uh, different software vendors. Um, of course, some of them, uh, like Slumbershire and, uh, and uh, Halliburton, we have several applications uh, within their portfolio. Other vendors, uh, there might be only, only one. Uh, but from a Seagal uh, and GeoCloud point of view, all of them are important to us. And uh, we ensure that all of them get uh, the performance required. Um, from our portal, which I briefly mentioned earlier in this webinar, we, um, we have a, an end user interface. Uh, and uh, it's uh, an interface not just for launching applications uh, or shortcutting uh, to the different uh, workflows you, you might have set up. It's also a, a portal handling all the IT services we provide. Um, so it's it's becoming a, a kind of a, a center for uh, uh, accessing uh, what you need as an end user. Um, and I, I mentioned it uh, again the. Uh, single sign-on, a secure access, is uh, making life easier uh, when you deal with uh, many applications and uh, potentially several cloud solutions. So, so uh, having all that sorted out by Segal and GeoCloud is um, of an immense uh, help to, to many of our customers. Um, this uh, slide is then um, giving you a bit of an example um, where an end user has selected the uh, preferred tools for a specific uh, workflow. Um, so, of course, uh, software applications will have overlap but, uh, the, between their functionalities, uh, but uh, as I'm sure most of you will, will know that oil companies, they, will, they have preferred tools and they like to, to select the best in class according to, to their use. So, in this Example here, I'm, I'm using a Segal tool actually called Seismic Data Management, which is a tool we have developed to, uh, to search, uh, find seismic data you have available on your disks or uh, cloud st storage. Um, it gives an overview and uh, uh, you can do some prepping and washing uh, and preparing really the data before you take it further. And in this case, uh, we move it into um, uh, through a direct link we have developed to Deuteric uh, for uh, the purpose of doing some conditioning and cleaning uh, of the data, like uh, denoising, uh, etc. processing tools. Um, and once that is done, um, the user has wanted to uh, utilize this uh, soft application called PaleoScan by Elise for uh, doing an automatic interpretation of horizons and faults in order to, to build a, a structural model, uh, which then in turn is pushed into Petrel for uh, doing a, uh, first of all, a, a depth conversion. Uh, and in this case, it's a Segal plugin for velocity analysis that is uh, uh, part of the workflow. Um, but um, the intention with using Petrel in this case was to build a 3D grid for some uh, reservoir modeling, uh, modeling some properties and uh, making a, 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 a simulation um, model for a flow simulation in, in T Navigator from uh, the company RFD. So again, uh, the, um, the data has been pushed through uh, a tool we have developed in Segal, a data connector to ensure that the, the, work or the uh, flow of data is, uh, is, is done as uh, seamlessly and the, rapidly as, as we can. Um, also, you could, um, although we, we haven't uh, a, a case study on it yet, uh, but we have also made a, a HPC cluster, high performance cluster, 
which can uh, be accessed for from T Navigator for this specific uh, uh, type workflow. Um, so at Sigali, we have an extensive um, competence and experience with um, the uh, applications in, in the market. Uh, and uh, we are in position to assist and advise uh, ensuring effective workflows. Um, okay, I'll move a little bit on now to talk a bit about uh, application management uh, services we provide from um, from Sigal. And um, I'd like to make a, an, an analogy a metaphor you might find uh, familiar. It's uh, of course the iPhone and uh, all the apps uh, many have downloaded and uh, installed. Uh, my experience is that these uh, apps they um, they uh, they get updated uh, automatically, and uh, I don't really, as an end user, have to care much about uh, ensuring that it's all in place uh, uh, and uh, the necessary license uh, is installed, uh, data consumption, uh, and so on. It's, it's, that is not going off the grid and going into crazy cost. Uh, so, question is: Do you have similar overview of your company's application portfolio? It's uh, been interesting for us in Segal to to see when we when we uh, work with new customers to see um, an overview or try to see an overview of the application landscape uh, uh, of which is very often very complex. So, you know, old companies they acquire software applications and licenses uh, over time, and uh, workflows change and uh, new versions of uh, applications are released as such as it often becomes a very complex landscape this this slide has a bit of text here but uh, my, the key takeaway is that uh, it's difficult for oil companies uh, to to maintain the uh, overview and uh, ensure that uh, your applications uh, are performing and uh, Ensuring that the, your your spend maybe is uh, in order uh, according to your, your budget. So what we do is we go through an application analysis. We take a look at um, the spend per vendor, for example, per department of uh, the company, uh, maybe per location, uh, and we look for um, cost drivers and we try to evaluate potential overlapping functionalities and uh, help the the customer to. Uh, to better control what they have and what uh, they need. Uh, this includes uh, also a bit of advice and uh, work on life cycle management of the applications. Um, so we, we, we produce uh, typically um, reports, uh, dashboarding, uh, uh, the overview of the applications installed. Uh, it could be life cycle status uh, and uh, including roadmaps for um, for applications. Uh, we have a, a unique position in Segal to, to keep that overview as we are uh, uh, hosting so many different applications and we have a very close dialogue with uh, most vendors. Finally, on this, uh, um, application management service, I'd like to also mention the, the license optimization part of it. Uh, of course, um, cost is always a focus from our, our clients and uh, it's important to uh, keep an, a good overview of usage of the uh, various applications and uh, there will be ups and downs in usage and uh, ensuring that uh, they have the necessary licensing uh, available and uh, bringing advice on, on when to scale up or, or down. Again, it's part of the reporting we, we do. Uh, there's a license utilization analysis, uh, uh, application uh, wise, uh, and you can drill down to the levels uh, and criteria and filters you'd like. Uh, this uh, service is uh, something we, uh, we develop uh, quite, uh, quite aggressively now with the uh, the strong increase in the, in the number of clients we have. Uh, so um, this then brings me a little bit further on towards the end here. 
Uh, I'd like to just finish off with this uh, slide on uh, what the future is bringing. Uh, of course, future is dynamic. It will change. Uh, currently, uh, we are um, focusing on uh, ensuring that we can utilize uh, public cloud. And uh, Azure is uh, what we have responded to first because of a customer uh, push, first of all. Um, so it's already released uh, and we use uh, Microsoft uh, data centers around the world. Uh, we realize that our customers have several public cloud solutions and uh, we expect to be also uh, offering uh, GeoCloud on, on the other alternatives. Uh, number two is uh, on um, automation and uh, it's really first of all for um, for us in Segal to to improve and uh, automate the way we build GeoCloud and the way we deploy it and ultimately how it's operated. Uh, this will of course reflect on the cost to the to the customers in the end. But um, by um, treating GeoCloud as a pure software solution, we can speed up uh, these operations quite significantly. Um, number three is uh, this thing about optimizing workflows uh, in involving different applications. Uh, I talked about one example earlier in the webinar. Uh, we believe we can um, facilitate this these workflows uh, through assisting with, uh, for example, connectors and different supporting services which will be part of uh, our GeoCloud offering. Uh, finally, I'd like to mention uh, OSDU. I'm, I'm sure most of you might have heard of OSDU, the, um, the initiative to standardize uh, data and data platforms. Uh, it's uh, initially, it was a, a shell initiative, I think. Uh, and we see that uh, it's still early days uh, for OSDU, but uh, we believe we in Seagull will be perfectly positioned to to operate uh, such a data platform uh, uh, and, and deliver on the promise. So these are things we've, um, we look at from a Seagal point of view, which we'll bring on to our cloud offering. And um, yeah, if you have any uh, further uh, questions uh, or feedback to us, uh, we would love to hear from you. And uh, there's an email address uh, given on that slide. Um, I also like to, to do some uh, marketing for our webinar series again. Uh, there's a link here to uh, the program. So I encourage you to take a look. Okay, I'm uh, a minute ahead of schedule. So I'd like to thank you for your uh, attention. Thank you, bye-bye.